D-Link Cloud Services are all about allowing you to easily access, share, view, and control your devices on your home network from wherever you are, anytime. Wireless routers, cameras, and storage devices can all be reached instantly using dedicated apps for your iPhone, iPad, or Android smartphone or tablet. But you can also access these devices from a computer at MyDlink.com for more control and access to advanced features, putting you in complete control of your network and everything on it, no matter where you happen to be. Now, let's take a look at the MyDlink.com site. After logging in, the top navigation bar shows my devices and my profile. My devices shows all the devices associated with your MyDlink account. A red X means it can't communicate with the device, maybe it's unplugged or can't reach the internet. And a green check means it's connected and ready to go. And in the body of the page is where you can access each device, but more on that in a minute. At the end of the navigation bar, just above it, you can log out, which is especially useful if you're on a shared computer. And on the top of the page, you have access to frequently asked questions and other support pages where you can download new device firmware, installation wizards for both Mac and PCs, product user manuals, and quick install guides. And at the bottom of the page, you have top news and FAQs, as well as new MyDlink enabled products. My profile lets you change your email address and password, or update your name, language, or even your country. You can also delete your entire account altogether. Now more about accessing each device. Select a camera and you'll immediately have access to the live view, where you can see a live feed from the camera. You can also see if the device recording or motion detection is enabled, as well as access some of the most common features right from the page. Depending on the features of your camera, you can mute the audio, manually set day or night viewing mode, take a photo snapshot, adjust the brightness, digitally zoom in or out for a closer look, adjust the resolution or quality, or switch to full screen mode. Also, if your camera is equipped with a micro SD card and has recordings, you'll be able to view them from the playback tab. And lastly, the settings tab allows you to access specific device information, switch on or off email notifications, or even enable event triggers like motion detection or scheduled recordings. You can even access all the advanced settings like the ones you'd see if you were logged directly into the camera settings locally. Selecting a cloud router on your MyDlink account will give you instant access to network performance and a list of connected devices. You can see the device names, and if you click on the device, you can see visited web history or even temporarily block each device. You also have the ability to reboot the router, and under settings, you have the ability to enable or disable wireless for either band, if applicable. You can enable email notifications when new devices connect or new firmware is available for your router. Or finally, remove the device from your MyDlink account altogether. You can upload or download files, create new folders, delete files, or even rename files remotely on your cloud storage device. You can also see how much space is left on your Share Center cloud storage. And if someone adds new files, refresh and you'll instantly have access to those files and you're able to download them wherever you are. Settings gives you detailed device information or allows you to remove the device from your MyDlink account. MyDlink.com is all about easy remote access to all your devices, wherever you are. No IT guy needed. Thanks for watching.